gamer ka ba? Naghahanap ka ba ng isang gaming earbuds? Well, samahan niyo po ako as I unbox and give an honest review ng isang affordable but very cool na true wireless stereo gaming earbuds. So, let's go! Hello mga ka -Rich fam! Welcome back sa panibagong video. Kung bago ka naman dito, ako po si Rich and welcome sa aking channel. For today's video, I'm going to do a review ng isa na namang earphone and that is the TWS X15 True Wireless Stereo Gaming Earbuds. Just like my previous video, ito po ay pinadala sa akin ng isang kumpanya. Sila po ay ang afashionmy.ph sa Shopee. Pero meron din po silang Amazon and AliExpress na shop. Nagbebenta po sila ng thermometers, pulse oximeters, true wireless earphones, toys at marami pang iba. So I hope that you'll check their shop. Ito po ay 438 pesos. So it's quite affordable for a gaming earbuds. Anyway, let's get started. Emotion see through your flaws. I know that you got so much more to give You made a real mess but I miss you though Cause I can go to sleep when I'm alone again Say you wanna fix our problems How long should I be waiting? Feels like I've had too much of drama But I'm not ready to give in
My test, my test. In case you're wondering kung gaano siya kalinaw if you're going to use it on a voice call, a video call, or even a Zoom meeting, well, ginagamit ko siya ngayon. So, malinaw po ba? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Rich PH. Please fasten your seatbelt. There you have it, the TWS X15 True Wireless Stereo Gaming Earbuds. Now, pag-usapan naman natin siya in detail. The first is the design. So, itong charging case, as you can see, maganda naman yung design. It reminds me of the old Alienware laptop. Naalala nyo ba yun, guys? Or maybe even a Komodo Dragon, no? So, nagla-light up yung mata niya kapag kinoclose mo and... I mean, in open and kino close mo yung cover. And to be honest, parang wala naman siya talagang silbe yung uh, flashing lights. Pang design lang siya talaga. Kasi kapag china charge mo naman yung charging case, um, hindi naman siya yung indicator nun eh. Ang indicator nun is the digital display. Dahil nag auto off naman siya after a while. So kunyari, hindi mo siya buksan ng matagal, mag auto off siya. Or kahit nakabukas siya ng matagal, mag auto off din siya. So, ang pinakamin indicator lang ay yung digital display, whether it's charging or it's already 100% uh, full battery. As for the earbuds naman, yun lang din yung nag-show nag, nag noon kung charge mo siya or not. And hindi rin naman siya nag-full nang nag steady Yan lang talaga yung pinapakita niya. Dahil kapag full na yung earbuds, ayun, makikita mo, mamamatay na yung ilaw ng earbuds. At mamamatay rin yung... Um, indicator na yon see? As for the earbuds, meron din siyang red and blue na light to indicate kung nagsisearching or battery full or not. But the design itself, hindi siya in-ear type. Para siya yung typical na earphone, pero masyado siya nakadikit dito dun sa body niya. Kaya, syempre, since iba-iba tayo ng form ng tenga, I feel like baka hindi siya comfortable sa ibang tao. Kasi sa akin, parang medyo nakaangat siya. Hindi siya talaga napapasok ng gusto. So, it, it will affect your listening experience. Pero kahit hindi naman siya snug fit, hindi naman siya nahuhulog, secured naman siya. I-press nyo lang ng todo, tapos secured naman siya, hindi naman siya nahuhulog. Nahuhulog ba? <laughs> hindi naman na yun. So, you can still use it while you're doing exercises or jogging. And hindi rin siya touch sensitive. Kasi may touch control din siya. So, kahit nakahiga ka or magrolyo-rolyo ka sa kama, hindi niya ma-affect yung controls. Now, let's talk about the battery life. Yung bawat earbuds ay tumatagal na almost 3 hours of continuous use. And that is at 80% volume. Yung charging case naman, it can charge your earbuds for about 3 times. Sa size naman itong charging case, almost kasing laki siya ng AirPods Pro. Pero of course, mas, mas slim yung AirPods Pro. And siya, pa, bulky siya. Kasing bulky siya ng Mi Earbuds. Pero di hamak na mas maliit siya kesa dun sa X15 Pro. 
So, it's really portable. As for the sound quality, since hindi siya in-ear, medyo it affects your listening experience. Kasi kung maingay sa environment nyo, yun, medyo hihina yung pandinig ninyo. And also, yung volume niya, just like the X15 Pro, medyo lowered yung volume niya. Pati yung bass niya, hindi rin ganun ka katindi, hindi bumabayo. So, if you're into listening to those kind of music, okay naman siya, pero I won't suggest it for that. Because it's really meant for gaming. For gaming, really low latency siya, so wala talagang lag. Maganda yung mga sound effects, pati yung mga pag, if you're going to chat with other people sa game ninyo, it is very clear. Maganda rin siya sa panonood ng videos at ng mga movies kasi malinaw talaga yung mga salita ng mga tao. As for the build quality, it feels sturdy. Mukha naman siyang matibay pero it's lightweight so I guess it's okay for its price. As I've said earlier, it's only 438 pesos so it's quite affordable for this kind of quality na earbuds. Overall, I'm going to give this a thumbs up and an 8 out of 10 rating. So yes, mas mataas yung rating ko sa X15 Pro. I think I gave this an 8.5 out of 10 rating. Kasi, when it comes to battery life, mas matagal yung battery life ng X15 Pro. Compared to this, this one is only about 3 hours. This one is around 4 to 5 hours of continuous use. Mas umangat lang sa design itong X15. Kasi mas maliit siya. And of course, mas maganda yung lights niya. So, if yung, if yung gaming setup nyo or yung PC setup nyo sa bahay ay maraming LED lights, this will really look nice sa inyong room. And okay then na may digital display siya, so mas makikita mo kung 100% full na ba yung battery or not. When it comes to price, medyo mas mura rin yung X15 Pro at 318 pesos, while the X15 is 438 pesos. Pareho naman sila maganda for gaming. Um, it's almost the same when it comes to the sound quality. It's just that since in-ear itong X15 Pro, mas maganda yung listening experience kasi mas snug fit siya dun sa loob ng tenga mo. Compared to this one na parang medyo nakaangat yung earpiece, so yung environment nyo ay nakaka-apekto sa listening experience. But for me, kung tatanungin nyo ako, mas isasuggest ko ang X15 Pro. I think it's called a Pro for a good reason. Aside from the fact na mas mura siya at mas maganda yung battery life niya, maganda rin yung listening experience. So, depende talaga sa inyo kung mas gusto nyo yung flashing lights and cool design with a digital display or a better version of that. Anyway, that sums up my video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated on my future videos. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, it's your boy Rich, and I'll see you on the next video.